Okay, we're in Nefesh HaChayim Perkei. Sorry, I missed on Monday. Sunday. Sunday. Monday <laughs> also. Oh, it was Sunday. Yeah. <laughs> I guess we missed it on Monday too, that's the truth. The Yisrael has yard site today for his father, Gedalia, Ben Wolf Dovin. Shabbat Shalom and Aliyah will dedicate the share to his uh, Aliyah's Neshama. Let me just, um, I want to read inside a little bit, but I want to also remind you, refresh our memories as to what we're saying, because the uh, um, truth is that it's uh, actually uh, life-altering yesoidus here that we're learning. It's not, uh, it's not any small thing. You know, I, I just tell you a, uh, a quick story. I, you know, I remember um, in yeshiva when I was a bacher, so you know they have Musur Seder. So Musur Seder is you know 20 minutes, 25 minutes before Mar, like that's the way it is usually in most yeshivas. And uh, you know, whole day you're learning Gemara and you're you know Mufalpa or Rashi Toisus or Chaim Brisky or whatever you're doing. And, and uh, Musur Seder, so it's more of a sometimes you have a Chavrusa, sometimes you don't. But you know, the, coming from the old Lukisha, uh, you know, Bate Musur. So there's a way to learn Musr, even a niggin to learn Musr. You know, oh, yeah, 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 it's all depressing. You know. <laughs> <laughs> it's thing that you're supposed to do. Um, anyways, I, I just remember this, that, uh, you know, some people learn themselves so sharp, people are a Sadiq, and they learn what they learn during uh, Musr Seder, Seder. But uh, I remember somebody um, was learning Nefesh HaChaim you know, during Musr Seder, and um, it was with the whole niggin over here, you know. So, uh, so I remember that there were Shashiva in his young years, were Shaiver, younger years, when he was only like about 70. So uh, I remember he went over the person, he says, You're not supposed to learn Nefesh with that nigga. <laughs> so it's just like, Well, you know, why not? That's the Musser nigga, that's the Musser Saver, that's the Musser Saver. Is that a Musser Saver? Uh, it's not a Musser Saver. A Musser Saver is to tell you how to be a better person. Nefesh tells you how the world works. This is a, it's really a book of engineering and mechanics on a spiritual level as to how the world works. That Musser Bechal, there might be a Musser Haskell, but it's not Musser in the sense of Musser, oh yeah, I gotta be better, oh yeah, I gotta, you know, like that's not the, it's just how things work. Um, Sefer Atanya is the same thing. It's, it's how things work. And that's a whole, that's a whole difference here. So how do things work? So what we learned was, uh, just to nishmas kol echad hua oilam sha'olaf. A whole new definition of the word and the concept of neshama. And I explain very, very uh, yesodistic that the neshama, um, we tend to look at the neshama, I think all of us, um, we tend to point to the neshama. We don't know where we're pointing to, but we tend to point to the neshama here, is the neshama here. So like you have a liver, you have a heart, you have kidneys, you have a, a neshama, except the neshama is spiritual. It doesn't come up on an x-ray, on a, on a, on a uh, what do you call those things, a CAT scan or an MRI. You know, you're not going to see it. No matter how detailed you look, it's not going to be because it's invisible. Roya veinu nero is the lashon of the Gemara. Roya veinu nero, you can't see the neshama, per se. So um, can't see the neshama, so, but it's still there. It's still somewhere, right? So uh, here uh, the nefesh Chaim is saying that you got it all wrong. That the neshama is not here. It's not here. It's not here. It's, th th those are different things. Like you, you find by Avraham Avinu, the kloyos are biyayis, right? You find all over, all over the Torah, the leiv, leiv ladas, right? Same libeinu lahav and lahaskel. The neshama is not here. It's not there. It's there. <laughs> the neshama. Nishmas kolechad hua oilam she'olam. If you want to understand the neshama, understand this. And this is so ex extremely important that that you have. Um, let's talk about the four worlds, which is a very again. I want to say something. We shouldn't be afraid of this because so some people turn off when they hear something about Kabbalah. But it's it's there's nothing to be afraid of here. It's just a very simple thing that when Hashem, we don't have to understand it just to know it. That when Hashem made the world, um, so there's a hishtalshulus. 
And the Ishtalshlus works from HaKadosh Baruch. We're not even talking about HaKadosh Baruch because Eilonu Havana, Bechlau. We're not talking about Hashem in any of this. Even when we talk about the Eid Soif, the Arizal makes very clear at the beginning of Eitz Yuschayim, we're not talking about Hashem. We never talk about Hashem. Never talk about Hashem. Um, what we could, well, we're talking about the reflection of HaKadosh Baruch, what, what comes out from him. So infinity is one of the things that come from HaKadosh Baruch, but, but it's important to understand since the Arizal. We're not talking, when we talk about the Eid Soif, people say the Eid Soif. People have all kinds of words for Hashem, by the way. I've, I've always, uh, I always think about this and talk about it, you know, like, Hash Baruch Hu, Eibishter, you know, Rebbein the Kim Yochel, the Bashefer, you know. so many different ways of, uh, of, of, of saying, Rebbe Yaakov Weinberg said, the, the Kim Yochel, which was to me always the most astonishing um, uh, word to say about the Kim Yochel, like, like he said, it's like Baruch Hashem, it's like Baruch the Kev Yochel. So, but, but what, what Kev Yochel means, I think it was a Chiddush. I mean, the word Kev Yochel is not a but like a direct reference to Kaddish Baruch. What Kev Yochel means is that, Ein lo no ha you know, Hashem should help me. Kev Yochel. What's Hashem? What is him helping me be? It's all Kev Yochel. It's all in a Lushen that we can possibly understand. We're not talking about. But what we're talking about is from Atzilus and Lamato. This apparently, with a lot of study, you can have some kind of a, a, a musagin. And you have a, the world of Atsilus, which has no Gashmias, the world of Bria, Abiya, the world of Bria, which has some formation to it. If we find these Lashinas in, in the Chomish Kufa, by Yivra Hashem Asadam, by Yitzar Hashem Asadam, right? Yitzar, Yitzir is more form. Um, so if you look at it as one world on top of the other, Although that's the way it is exactly, but uh, if you look at it like the way we are diagramming in our minds, one world on top of the other, you could have Atsilus, Bria, Yitzira, and Asiya. Asiya, we understand well, it's pretty much the world that we live in. It's a scientific world, it's a world of things that do show up on MRI. You can see under a microscope, you can even see with a telescope, you can see far away. That's all in the world of Asiya. Mars is in the world of Asiya. <laughs> that's all the world of Asiya. If you can see it, it's Asiya. If you can go there, it's Asiya. We're not traveling to another world. But Labala Bizeh is the world of Yitzira. Okay, so uh, the world of Yitzira. I want to help him at the door there. Oh, sorry. The, the world of Yitzira, which stands, what we know from here is the world of Yitzira, which stands above the world of Asiya, is the Neshama for the world of Asiya. What does that mean? What it means is that we have to stop thinking of Neshama as a thing within us and start thinking of Neshama as the energized by, getting its koach from. He says this before, he says Lashon later on. Is, is Lashon later on, as we're going to learn, is that the neshama is the shayrish of the person. Think tree, <coughs> the, the uh, inverted tree, as in the, in the world of computer programming. If you, if you invert the tree, so what happens is, this is the roots, it's underground, you don't see it, you do understand it, you don't understand it, but that's the root, right? In, in, um, I'm very outdated because when I went to uh, school, we learned Unix. <laughs> we learned about, you know, we learned about the inverted tree, and everything starts from the root, and, and the root is, you know, the, the C colon or whatever your root is, right? So that root is working its way downward to your to your computer, right? So so you're talking about um, the shirish. We're talking about the shirish. We're talking about the shirish of the person, the shirish of Asiya of the world we live in is the world of Yitzira. The Sharish of Yitzira, the new types of Neshava, extremely important. The, the Sharish of Yitzira is the world of Bria. The Sharish of Bria is the world of Atsilas. The, the Sharish of Atsilas, of course, is Akadosh Baruch. So, is it in a way that when the Neshava, after my other Hashem, that the Neshava is not in the past, it's already there, but it's like that? Exactly it's right. Like, yeah. we, we learned exactly right. It's a very important uh, you say. In other words, you're shedding the goof. The, 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 the goof is the, in the Lashon of Chazal, and we learned this inside together, the goof is called the Na'al L'Neshama. A Na'al L'Neshama, it's, it, it's, so the Na'al on the one hand, you know, 
it, it has um, it supports the whole body on the one hand. On the other hand, it's insignificant in the sense that it's not my brain. It's the the Akev, just is just an interesting idea to keep us in mind that whenever the Torah talks about Akev, Dosh Beikvav, Akev Asher Tishmun, um, the Akev is the opposite of the Moach. Those are the polar extremes. Akev is the opposite. The Yadayim are not the opposite. The, the Akev is the lowest part, and the and the and the Moach is the highest part of the of the Ish Hagashmi. So the, the, the goof that we have, that we're walking around with, includes our brain, includes our heart, includes our kidneys, includes the whole business. Those are all the, just a na'al for the neshama. Where is the neshama? Not here, not there, not anywhere. Neshama is there. So, so this is, the neshama means the shirsh, the root. The root. Now, let's, let's work with this for a moment and, and do chazara on everything that we learned. So important. That if... Not if, being that that is true. So we have to understand that the world, of, let's say the world, I'll give you an example to this. The world that we live in is um, powered by Yitzira. Yitzira is the world of Malachim, for those that know. So there are Malachim. HaKadosh Baruch created Malachim. We learned about Malachim. Malachim are not, um, you know, little fairies that run around. Uh, a Malachim is an energy. The way HaKadosh Baruch Hu created a certain type of an energy in order for us to put in our brains or for Rembrandt to paint it or whatever, Michelangelo, whoever painted angels, so it, it became a thing. But really it's, it's, a, it's a force in the Bria which is right above Asiya. So you have this very, very, um, for instance, poetic Chazal where um, that the Arizal brings, I could never find the Chazal, but I think the, I'm sure it's, the Arizal brings it, that, that um, there's no such thing as a blade of grass a blade of grass that doesn't have a malach telling it gadel. So that's very poetic, it's very beautiful. It's well known the story of Rav Cook that somebody was walking with him and picked a flower poetically, <laughs> give it to the Rav, and, and he said, why are you disrupting a malach in the middle of its work? <laughs> it, it sounds very beautiful, but that, that implies that it's very low. What it means is <laughs> that this grass is not a big chash of a bria, it's not an adam, it's grass. So the grass is being powered by a malach, which says to him, gadel, meaning that's the teva, that's the bria. You with me on this? <laughs> and on top, of, on top of that, there's the world of, that's as far as my brain goes. But then on top of that is the world of Bria, which is powering the world of Yitzira, the Shema of the world of Yitzira, and on top of that is the world of Atsilus, which is powering the world underneath it. Um, what's on top of that? So you say, well, who knows? So Yecheskel knew, because he had a Nevoah. And Yecheskel said, I see this, I see that, I see this. And then on top of it all, I see the Kisei. The Kisei is in the world of Bria. So the Kisei, as I've explained, is not the key saying necessarily which Hashem sends, sits on. It doesn't mean that. We think of it as a throne. Not necessarily a key say like that. But for some reason, the key say is Hashemayim Kisei Va'aretz Hadayim Ragmai. That's what Yishayo said in Psalm of Love. Hashemayim Kisei. The key say is the beginning of the world of Gashmius as we know it. That's what the key say is. Hashemayim kisi. Hashem is over here. He's saying Hashemayim kisi. The ha'aretz, mamish here, hadoim raglai. It's my footstool. Now, think now. Footstool. Hadoim raglai. Eiza bayis asher tivnu li. Eiza makoy menu chasi. That's what Yeshayahu said. So says says Yecheskel, and understand this in perspective. You know, get a load of this. <laughs> Umeal hakisei, so the neshama of Yitzira is Bria. The neshama of Bria is kisei. Umeal hakisei adam. Yechesa. Meal hakisei adam. What do you mean? I'm sitting here in this kisei. I'm not sitting in that kisei. So the pshat is that the pshat is myridic, actually. The pshat is that here we are. And on the one hand, we're 
like Bria's, just like rabbits, <coughs> just like squirrels. We're just here. We live, we die, we eat, we, we, we procreate, we defecate, we do all kinds of things, just like every other creation. Uh, sophisticated, our brain is bigger, happens to be. Uh, we're at a higher emotional level, happens to be. Sometimes. I sometimes I look at the cats and I say, they got it right. <laughs> No politics. <laughs> Probably don't have any seen us in them. I'm not sure. But uh, you ever see a cat fight? <laughs> territorial. Yeah, ter yeah territorial. <laughs> not as bad as people, though. <laughs> not as bad as people. Probably the cats call it a human fight. May Allah them kise means. This is, this is what's perfect, I just want to say these words, that we're not really, Adam in particular, as much as we're part of this world, we're not really being powered by Yitzira. We're not like the blade of grass where there's a malach that says Gadel. There's no malach standing on a baby saying Gadel. There are malachim involved. There's a teva, there's a world, we're part of it. No question about it. Mitzad echa. But Mitzad Sheni, there's the Adam me'alakise, that our shoyrish, our neshama, is not here, not here, not here, but me'al hakise. You understand? Like our neshama, is, our shoyrish is in a different place. Don't think that we're um, just, just like like animals. You know, like that biological view of the human is so completely wrong. This is what the Torah teaches us. That it, it's it's easy to make that mistake. But on the other hand, it's a mistake because your neshama is coming not from the world above it. Your neshama is coming from three worlds above it. So, and neshama taich, we just define neshama as the shares, that which gives kayach, the root. So where is the root system of the human being? Let's talk about all human beings now. Where is the root system of the human being? The root system of the human being is, is above the malach. Hence, the Pasuk says, this is all in the Pasuk, not in Yechezkel, but in Chumash. In Chumash it says that Hashem created the whole world. And then when he created Adam, he blew into his nostrils. Which is B'Tselem Elohim. Which is, which created the Selem Elohim. So he said, means he didn't blow into the nostrils of the alligators. Or the worms. Or even gorillas and apes. He blew into the human nostril. So how do you create how do you create everything without blowing into its nostrils? What, what it means to say is, of course, they have a neshama also. Everyone says, do, do, do animals have a neshama? Yes, their neshama is the world of Yitzhira. <clears throat> What's our neshama? Hashem. Hence, says the Zayar on that Pasuk, man tadofach, midilei kanofach. One of the most famous quoted Zayars is that he who blows, blows from himself. Meaning that Kodesh Baruch is blowing into our nostrils means to say that, hey, we're not getting our energy from Malachim, we're not getting it from the world of Bria, whatever's going on, we're not even getting it from the Kisei HaKavit. Adam humay ala Kisei. We're, ta we're, we're getting our, our, our whole koach of being is, com is coming from HaKadosh Baruch Hu direct. So, but, but, and, and therefore, I add, if that's, if that's the pshat, if that's the MS, and it is, obviously, obviously, a mazal Yisrael. Now, I, I just want to take a, a, a tangent here. You said that was all... all That's the tangent. Okay. Are we talking about people? So, we're talking about Adam Arisha, we're talking about all of mankind, all okay. two of them. Um, it, it all depends what the people put themselves under. Hmm. See, the minute you say, Koichi v'oitzim yodi, asali as hachayil hazem, God hates that. <laughs> Why? Not because not covet Hashem. You fool. Don't you understand? Because it's it's sheker muchlat. That you, you are why are you putting yourself under the world of Yitzira, which is by the way where the world of Mazolis and constellations and astro astrology is, that all exists in the world of Yitzira. That's called accessing the world of Yitzira. Why are you doing that? 
then you're putting yourself into a place of nature. So those humans that chose to put themselves in a place of nature are there. This is Bechir HaChavshis that we have from the Eitz Hadas. Those humans that understand that I, my, my Koach is coming from a whole different place are not Meshuggah to that system altogether. You're not Meshuggah to that system. You can defy Malachim. Ein Mazal Yisrael. You can even defy the Malachim of us. As did Rabbi Yonis and Benuzil, right? Almost contemporary. <laughs> but many, you can even defy the Malachim of us. The Malachim of us has to be able to crick in there somewhere. It's mm-hmm. a or some kind of an Ave or something. But a person, theoretically, and we've seen this, can actually defy the Malachim of us. Eliyahu and Avi did. So, so when you defy the Malacham of us, that means that you're, what, the, what does it mean? It means that you're not working with Koch. You see, this is a dangerous thing. You, we go to doctors, we do exercise, we're careful about our diet. I am Mamish like a big advocate of it. I'm, I'm, all, I'm all for it um, like, lately. But, um, <laughs> but the, the uh, you know, you know the, the, the consistency of that also, you know. I, told, I once told you about Eliezer that I'm really feeling lousy because of his new diet. So he said, when did it start? I said, this morning. <laughs> <laughs> like, okay, you know, but, uh, you know, I, I'm, but don't, you, what we can't do is put yourself under that malchus. Understand? Like, in other words, at the same, this is, that's difficult. At Kedekach, where there were shitas of Rishayda, the Rambayerim, um, any, any, any human being that has put themselves on, uh, in, on, in the culture of coming from, of, of being able to rise above the stars and go directly to the Vayipach Bab of Nishmas Chaim is, is good with that. This is a koach of a human being. Any human being can be a guy here. Anyone. So, so uh, any human being can be a Kabbalah Malchus Shemaim and, and has that kind of a din. But, but Klai Yisrael has it genetically, intrinsically. It's all part of our. So, so if it's part of us, so Mamele in Mazel Yisrael. Now, does that mean, why do we say Mazel Tov? He made Mazel Yisrael. Like, like the most religious thing we do at a wedding is Zim and Zay, Mazel Tov, you know. <laughs> what, what are we, we screaming Mazel Tov, break glasses, Mazel Tov, everything, Mazel Tov, Mazel Tov. <laughs> like, like, you know, if, if a, a total Amar walk into a wedding and ask for a word by word translation, um, what are they doing now? What are they doing now? They're talking to the astrologies. <laughs> They're doing something astrological. Simantai, Mazel Tov. It's all astrological. Why? We don't want to have, just like we want to push away to Malach HaMavas, and, and, and we come to a bris and we invite the Malach Rafael, we don't want to go Kenegat Teva, but we also don't want to put ourselves under the Kenegat Teva. So, May Hashem, Yishalish. May Hashem, Yatsa Hadavar. That the actual Shidduch is, is coming from the Hakadosh Baruch Hu. You know, I spoke at a, at a wedding. I don't know if anybody's there, but I spoke at a wedding a couple of days ago, Bergenfeld's wedding. So I spoke under the chuppah. So I was talking about how how the uh, neshamas, um, you know, what's what's happening here is that uh, two neshamas come together and they become like a whole new neshama, and therefore it's a chiddush of the day. You know, the, the whole new neshama, which you're walking away from the chuppah with, is something brand new, something completely. New. That was what I was talking about with that. i the whole. Um, Russia, pretty good. <laughs> <laughs> so there was this uh, Rosh Yeshiva there who, you know, this Rosh Yeshiva from Beitar, you know, scary, right? So, so um, he, he goes to me afterwards, he says, I said, 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 but he added that he says, you speak a very good English. <laughs> Hello, but he says to me, that, that uh, you said that the two neshamas here become one. He says, I'm like, what are you? <laughs> so um, is it? he says, what is it? It's a, it's a Gemara, it's a Medrash, it's a Zayar. Like, uh, what? So maybe it's a Zayar. He says, it's not my area. I don't know Zayar. <laughs> This is a pasuk in Brachas. Why you la nefesh achas? That's nefesh. Nefesh. Rashi says nefesh ruach neshama. Why you la nefesh? A pasuk. 
Also, the bridge is a bus center today, and it's popular understanding. Somebody dies, it's not in the shumba leaves. That's what you just said. The power just gets cut off. You shed your goal. Took it off your shoes. See, the energy gets cut off, like you unplug. See, it's in my mind every day because uh, when I was a kid and we watched television, so um, there was the Beverly Hillbillies. Anybody old, old enough to remember that? <laughs> yeah. So the whole thing started with every, every you know, same jingle every, every single day after school was, you know, take your shoes off. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so this is the, the ultimate in comfort, is take your shoes off, like, there's, there's a shedding of the goof. I'm sure that wasn't his color, but uh, it, it's just in my head. There's, there's a meaning not to wear the mitzvah's shoes if they wouldn't play uh -huh, the uh -huh. That's to do with this. Of course. Somebody else's goof. It represents somebody else's goof. And this is all connected to the fact that an oval is not a lot of wear shoes. And a coin doesn't wear shoes when he's doing it. And Moshe Rabbeinu didn't wear shoes. Shalom Alecha, Me'ar Raglecha. There's a point of the symbolism is we're, we're shedding the goof from going to the Neshama. So that's the Pshat, Ein Mazel Yisrael. That's the Pshat, Vayipach Ba'ap of Nishmas Chaim. This is what was finding the Greek Sabbath. So the Kisna Femme, I'll carry the Shosh, and then the Nice. You see, let me, t let, me, let me explain something very simple, even simpler than the Greeks. Haggadah Shal Pesach, Yotzienu Hashem, Loya Yidei Shaliach, Loya Yidei Malach, Loya Yidei Sarah, Allah Hashem himself took us out of Mitzrayim. What's the, uh, <laughs> what, like, what else is new? <laughs> like, what, what's, why, what, what is the drasha here? The, the, the pshat is, that in the Lashon of Chazal, that Gimel um, Nafi Chais Hayu, Arba Nafi Chais Hayu, Arba Nafi Chais Hayu, it says in the Yalquit. One was Vayipach Ba'apa of Nishmas Chayim, another one was Yitzhiyas Mitzrayim, that is Baruch who blew into the nostrils of a nation. So now the nation has a Neshama. Har Sinai was Nafiha and when Mashiach comes you talk about Shay for God we will be breathed a new breath. <laughs> but the Pshat in Akarish Baruch who taking us out of Mitzrayim, Loy Al Yudai Malach means it's to not work with the Seder at Tepa. That's what all that's all means. Um, write it down Seder your Seder. The, the, this that's what it means is that th this didn't happen with natural um, it's not like the, the the sea happened to split and the water happened to turn into blood. They try, you know, the, the scientists, those that believe the story, and try to make it work scientifically also, but it doesn't work scientifically because the whole point, this is what we're saying, we're pronouncing at the Haggadah. We're making a pronouncement that this, this was not a Shibu to Teva altogether. And that's why even Moshe Rabbein is not mentioned in the, uh, in the, in the Haggadah. Was that also because Mitzrayim was a place that then you had to use the Koifus? It was all Koifus. Is he the the, the what was it, because he was also some kind of a shliach. There was nothing. Uh, uh, there was there was nothing between us and Hakadosh Baruch Hu. So the whole seder of Bria, Yitzira, and Asiya was simply not Nogaya. Isn't this a way to live? Yes or no? It's it's a mitzias of where your neshama is. You have to know where, you know, we think we're plebeians, so we think, okay, like, you know, all right, like, you know, life is, life, that's life, you know, what, what does that mean? The, 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 you know, we're not Meshubba to Teva at all, but we are asked to cooperate with Teva, which is, why, why, which is why you go to the doctor, if you say, like, the, the, we're asked to cooperate with Teva. So the Meraglin didn't want Exactly what the Miraglin wanted. You see, with the, this is so, right, so, so to, uh, uh, giving Tani the Messiah, and I, it's, this is what I'm saying here is so Yesodistic that Lanias Daiti, not my Yesodis, Yesodis Shikibalti, but it's so Yesodistic that every Tvar Torah now makes sense. <laughs> Hundreds of, 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 of Harshias of the Torah make sense. You see what happened at the, at the Akedah. Avram Avinu came, and this is our, to, to address the Indian of Goyim. Um, I'm generally pro Goy. Uh, you know, I, mean, I, like, I, don't, I don't like, I don't like the, you know, 
I mean, Sef Kol Saif, the purpose of the Jew is to be Ar Lagoyim. That's the Messianic uh, purpose of the Jew, is to be Ar Lagoyim. So, you know, it's not to tame dogs, I mean, it's to be Ar Lagoyim. Nevertheless, um, Avram Avinu said to <coughs> Shmuel and Eliezer, so Rashi says so offensively, This is son. Ishmael Eliezer is faithful servant. The Ipshat the is that, that Ishmael and Eliezer, Chamor, those, was all Lush and Choymer. They, they put themselves under the shlita of Gashmius. That's the Gilui of Chazal here. That's the Gilui of Rashi. They, they put themselves in a, in, a, in, a, in a place of Teva. And a place of Teva is Poi. Shulachem Poi imachamar. Ani v'anar nelchat Koi. So are we Po or are we Ko? Ko? Nevi'im said Koi Amar Ko is 25 rungs in the ladder up to the Shar Hanun. 25, Ko. Ko Amar Hashem. It's not as high as Moshe Rabbeinu got. Uh, uh, we learned to the call them in the back. Avram Avinu didn't get as high as Moshe Rabbeinu got. Zeh but even higher. But Zeh HaDabr Hashem, Ziva Hashem. Shechina Medaber is Mitoy Kreina. But Ko. Aniva Anar Nelcha. Shvulachem Poim HaChamor was not an insult to, to say you and the Chamor, you know, you, it, it wasn't calling them, you know, if you would say the Chamor. Um, could we have a Lashon HaKadosh? <laughs> That's not what he was saying. Why would he insult them like that? What he was explaining to them was that, that we're, we're going now to, we're, we're, here's where the, we're dividing between the men and the boys. Because Shvulachem Poim HaChamor, in the world of nature as it exists, in the world of regular emotions, in the world of Gashmias, um, under the Shlita of the world of Yitzira, where there's Malachim, and under the Shlita of the world of Bria, there's no such thing as an Akeda. It doesn't make any sense. But Akeda requires complete Bitaladas, completely going against the Teva. One's personal Teva and the Teva of the world. So Shvulachem Poi, Ima Chamar. You're Daimel Chamar, you're in that world. Bani Nar, Nel Ha'ad Koi. We're coming back <laughs> because we live in the in the in the world of Po. We don't live in the world of Ko, but we can access the world of Ko. And Avraham Avinu said that I want to access the world of Ko for a few minutes. And then we'll be right back with you. And then I'm also like the Chamar in the sense that um, uh, anybody who's Po is uh, is under the Shlita of Gashmius. But but it's it's important to remember. Like everybody here has to go to take take you know medicine when they're sick, but everybody. But it's important to remember that we also have a koach of shlomal, which is connected halacha lechatzchilo to go against it, which is mustaver because Hashem made a bria. Why why are you going against go, why are you going against all the malachim? Why are you going against all bria that I created over here? But it's a can do type of thing. So um, did, sorry, did Eliezer do to shogun with uh, when he went to find Rivka? Whichever. No, no. It brings to me, you know, that's the one I first brought to whoever the Russian was. That's, that's like right. Yeah, Shem Yotza Hadam. Yeah, so is that like a, a, a true or anything? Maybe. Or he was talking on behalf of Avraham. Yeah. It was a, it was a Vata, it was a Mavata and so on. But also he was involving the Teva in the whole <coughs> Tefillah. He was involving the Teva in the whole Tefillah. What she has to do, you know, things that she has to, had nothing to do with. Uh, uh-huh. I've been having a hard time with this. Like, which world are we in? You have to do both worlds at the same time? Okay, so. Um, <laughs> which world are we in? So Nefesh Haim brings, so let's just talk about this for a few minutes. Um, Nefesh Haim brings the Chazal. It's inside, but I just, I just save time. I'm just saying it to you. Um, now, Akadosh Baruch Hu created. When it came to creating Adam, Hashem had your question. <laughs> right, where, where, where do I? Where it says Mikum? <laughs> where do I put him? This thing that I want to create here, it's Elam Alakim. 
where does he belong? Is he like one of the Malachim? Right, create him in this world because I want Malchus. So the Torah wants a dear of a tough time. Let's create him in this world. But does Chazal? There's going to be a kina of my sabrations, like uh, Adam, a kina of my sabrations. Hashem doesn't want there to be that, like the perfect conductor has perfect harmony. And when there's jealousy and ill feelings, there can't be perfect harmony. So what did he do? What's the lesson of Chazal here? Let me read it to you. Bashishi ba livraya sa'adam. Amar. This is the lesson of uh, of uh, Vayikar Rabba. Amar. Im ani bayra yisai minal yoinim ein shalom ba'olam. Interesting. If I just make Adam a malach, shalom here means the shechina. So what, 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 what's going to be with my world? It'll be a world of rabbits. What's the, what's the point? I don't need that. But make a zoo. You know, the whole world be a zoo. So, ain't shalom bolom. There's no shkina, there's no shalom, there's no shlemus in the world. Even, right? We're talking about shalom. We're talking about the, the ultimate in the birchus koyhanim. Right? So then, I have another animal. And there's going to be an intelligent animal is going to be keen of my sabrations. Elo hareni boyo I say min hal yoyno mina tachtoinim. Offer mina adama ve'ipach ba'ap of nishmas chaim. It's lashon of the of the of the medrash. On the one hand, he's offering mina adama. On the other hand, he's not for sure. Ve'ipach ba'ap of nishmas chaim. Frank Tur Chaim Velashin. So how did you get rid of the kina of my sabrations? Here's an adam which is walking around with ve'ipach ba'ap of nishmas chaim. What did you accomplish? I can't if I build, if I make him from the Tachtoinim, so then I'm gonna make Kina in the mice abrasions. So what am I gonna do? I'll give him a Neshama. It's worse. Made it worse, right? It's a good Kasha. So let me tell you what his tarot is in my words. You know, um, let's go back to the world who's Barkash and so many Mashalom today in the world of Gashmis. Because Gashmis is so sophisticated before before the final Gula. You know, you know, in um, not so much now, you know, but uh, like a few years ago, you know, there's now again, you, you know, you could have a computer, you know, you could have a cheap computer, you could have a good computer, you could have a high power computer, you could have a, you could even have a Mac, <laughs> highest Madrega, right? Uh, 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 okay, not like like <laughs> Um you could have you have the power on your desk. That was the uh, expression. I have another guy like you saw more in the olden days, and I'll tell you why you're seeing it again. You can have another guy who has a monitor, like it has no clock at all, zero. They can't do anything with the monitor. It's a dumb monitor, dumb terminal they used to build, right? Dumb terminal. Why do I say again? Because now they they they've um, realized the evolution of, of of devices, the evolution of things. Um, they've realized that, you know what, like why do iPhones need to be so expensive? They don't need to have any brains, all the brains can be in the cloud. And, and the cloud now is just about everywhere. So you go to the supermarket, you have the cloud, you go to the street, you have the cloud, you're in a car, you have the cloud. So, what's the, what's the, so why do I need to put anything in here? I can make this thing half price and, and half the weight and half the size if you want it to be. So all of a sudden, we, we're taking, the, the, this is the new trend, to, to half the price of iPhones. I'm up on those, I'm telling you. <laughs> Half the price of iPhones and take away its brains because it's now hooked up to the clouds. So you have a dumb, a dumb terminal. We're back to Amish 1975, the dumb terminal. Now, which is more chashev? Is what's more chashev to have the, the power on your desk or to be hooked into the cloud? So mitzad echad. Um, you want to have it. If you don't have it, you don't have it. Yeah. It's not shady. If I don't have it, I have it. If I don't have it, but I'm hooked up to a higher source, then I have everything. Of the chalts. Infinite. Infinite. Ain't so. So listen to what's going on over here. Who's got the better machine here, me or you? You've got the better machine because you've got the power in your hands. But sof kosof, it has a gvul. I have the worst machine, and therefore it's the better machine 
because I'm hooked up to the cloud. Comes a Kaddish Baruch Hu, Hashem is a going. <laughs> I'll, I'll create Adam, offer me not Adamo. Piece of metal, piece of hardware. But Vayipach Ba'ap of Nishma Schaim is a piece of hardware, he's offered me not Adamo. Nobody's going to be jealous of an Adam. I've got a Mac, you've got a Mac. But at the same time, Baroi Samina Yonu Vayipach Ba'ap of Nishma Schaim means, but his Kalach is infinite because he's hooked up to Shemayim. So we're, all of a sudden, we're, we're higher and we're lower. This is the goingness of HaKadosh Baruch Hu, that there's no kin on the Maise Breshus. <laughs> <laughs> have nothing. Now, the truth of the matter is, we have nothing. Is anybody here roar as loud as a lion? Can anybody run as fast as a deer? Can anybody see as far as an eagle? Where's the kin on? This is, like, uh, uh, according to the animals, this is, we're Amish inferior. Yes, we have a bigger brain from an evolutionary point of view, because how else are we supposed to eat? We can't, we, we, poor people have to make a living. <laughs> I don't have to make a living. I, I, you, you watch a cat that's jumping from the ground up to this person's merpesson, you know? How is it doing that? Other than down again. And it has nine lives, we only have one. <laughs> so the, the, so what's the, there's, there's no kina in the mycebraceous, but understand that this human here um, is, is the lowest of the creatures and at the same time hooks up to the highest place. So comes, the, comes the Medrash, the Medrash beginning of Tazria. Medrash says, look, look, just, just look at inside in case you forgot. What, what I'm telling you, I'm, I'm not saying mine, so I'm not afraid to boast of it. I'm telling you, you so just every, every Medrash all of a sudden Makes sense. Such an important yisoy. And then the Medrash Rabba in Tazria. Amar Rabbi Lazar Achar. Achar v'kedem sartani. Why? The chiv ruach alikim rachefes al pnei hamayim. Im zacha ruach alikim. This is on the first day, right? First day it says ruach alikim rachefes al pnei hamayim. That is the neshama, says says Rish Lakish. So im zacha, this we know. Remember at the beginning of the Bria. Vimlav, and if you're not Zoycha, I remember what? Yitush Kidamach. You know, a mosquito was created before you. Shil Shul, a worm, Kidamach. Achar Vikadam. The Kedem Sartani is the end of the whole Bria and is the beginning of the whole Bria. So, where do we live? Motion. <laughs> it depends if you're Zaycha or Loy Zaycha. If you're Zaycha, so say the first thing in the Bria is the Neshama. Where, where do we live? We're getting our Shoresh from the Neshama. If you're not Zaycha and you're into the life of, uh, of, uh, of Kofi Motsam Yadi Asali Asachoyal you're not as strong. You cannot do to, you cannot annoy another person as much as a mosquito. <laughs> you, you know, the mosquitoes today are killing people. They don't even have guns. They don't have license. They're nothing. <laughs> right? this, is, this is an international problem. The, 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 what, what, we have no, not Latoiv and not Lara. We can't make honey. We can't, what, what, what can we do? But the, 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 the pshat is that in terms of uh, the, the gashri is a person, dumb terminal. Yitush kadamach. In terms of what we're able to do because we can access, because our shirish comes from the shirish elyon, which is the neshama, is, which is me'al hakise, as Yecheskel said. Ruach, even better than Yecheskel, is the pasuk, the ruach elokim merachefes al pnei ha'adama. Ruach al pnei ha'amayim, rather. Ruach merachefes al pnei ha'azu. Machlok is here. Zuan neshama, zu melech Mashiach. What is that ruach? But that's us. The ruach. That's the neshama. So now we can say 
on the one hand, we're lower than everybody. On the other hand, we're higher than everybody. So what are we supposed to, where, where do, where do, Kodesh Baruch Hu, first of all, took away the kina. That was smart. The second thing is, gave us a choice. You can live wherever you want to live. We're asked under normal circumstances to live in the world of Teva. We're also asked to know that you're, 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 you have access to a much higher world than the world of Teva. You have an access to the world of Me'al Akise. Bitachon. So, uh, listen, the Gemara says like this. The Gemara says a story, and we will have to continue. It's like, it gets light too fast around here. <laughs> the, the, the Gemara says a story of Baruchus, Lama Dalud. The, the Gemara says a story that um, Rabbi Gamliel's son became sick. And he sent his Talmidim to Ruchanina ben Daisa to ask him for a bracha. And um, they came to Ruchanina ben Daisa, the Gemara says, ask him for a bracha, tzaddik. And, and uh, Ruchanina ben Daisa said, you can go home, far chal sato chama. The fever broke. They came back, they asked him what, what exact time. He said, my son is better, what exact time? Exactly during the time of the bracha. Rabbi Gamliel, the mother of the child, as much as, much as she must have been grateful to uh, Rechanina ben Daisa the tzaddik, says to her husband, well, you're not a tzaddik? To go all the way to Rechanina ben Daisa to get a bracha? Like I married her a God of I thought. <laughs> all those years of learning and everything. Akara. <laughs> so he said, I am a God of Ador. So his wife was deep enough to understand that. Her sister. What, what, was, what was he saying over here? I, I, I'm, I'm the Nasi at that time. It's a Nasi of Kla Yisro. I'm a Melech. So I'm a Sar, and we've Kaddish Baruch, and Kaddish Baruch who's Machshiv me, like a king is machshiv the different sarim in his parliament. But my power is limited to who I am and what I am and the power that was given to me. For instance, a melech bloyam. You lose the people, you lose the malchus. Who, a chanina ben doisa, ke'eved lifnei melech. He's a much lesser, he's a dumb terminal. Mm-hmm. He's an avid lifnei rabbi. Masha kona avid kona rabbi. <laughs> has nothing. He has nothing. But because he has nothing, he has everything. He's hooked into the cloud. <laughs> because he has nothing, he has everything. He can give a bracha because he has unlimited kochos because he's completely ba'avdus lifnei hakadosh baruch hu. Avid lifnei rabbi. It's not my lachasar necessarily, but for when it comes to this bracha, when it comes, he explained to his wife. When it comes to this bracha, we need to go me'al la teva. Uh, it's, this is out of my, um, uh, I have my area of authority. Bailiwick. My, my, my jurisdiction, my... Bailiwick. Bailiwick. Okay. <laughs> Were you a lawyer? <laughs> I was. <coughs> it's out of my domain, Bukhlau. And my domain is big, says Rebbe Loyal. My domain is big. What a sar can do, uh, it's, it's big. But, but it is what it is. Like, I've got the power on my desk. So, like, you know, it's, it's, I'm, I'm a lion, I'm a gorilla, I'm an ape, I'm an elephant. I'm, I'm, my, my power is immense. However, he who has no power, Hanita ben says, and he's got, he hasn't got a stellar, <laughs> he has no power at all, who can ever leave because he has nothing, he's not Meshubba to any of the worlds, he's not any part of any kind of a system. So since he has nothing, he has everything because he's directly tied into al Baruch Hu, and therefore he has everything. So to him we could say, <laughs> if, if, if a person's mind gets carried away with himself, we tell him, Tishma, Yitush Kadamach, you think you have power, you have no power. Think, think mosquito. If you're Zoche, you understand where it's all coming from. And not that everything's Bashar, that's not what we're saying. You have a Koach of Avdus. So, you know, less is more. Less is more. Uh, the, the more, uh, there, therefore, Al Karachach, Moshe Rabbeinu had to be the Anav Nikolad. 
perforce. Because if he wasn't the Adam mitok mikol Adam, then he wouldn't have been zocha to shechina medaberes mitok droina. How can be, uh, they, 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 how can you have shechina medaberes mitok droina if you have a domain? So you can say kai. You can't say zad daver shetziba asha. Ad kenei kach pe el pe. It's a different. It's a different thing. Why he was by Yamas Moshe Eved Hashem. Mashikona Eved Kona Rabbi. That's Chazal's mm-hmm. comment on the last mm-hmm. possible text. And he has an Eved Avram. Mm-hmm. So Kolzman, he worked in Eved Avram. He was able to look onto his eyes. But by Yamas Moshe Eved Hashem, like Chanina Ben Daisa, who kaved lifnei Mari, is unbelievable koyach from the fact that he has no koyach. <laughs> he has no koyach. He has unbelievable koyach. Like by the way, I just tell you one more bushel before I go. Like in the world of computers which I'm sounding like an expert on, I'm almost not. But, uh, but in the world of computers, when it became the question when IBM, you know, uh, got into the, the, the house computer thing, you know, the home desktop computer, I think, you know, went back in the 80s. So um, there was a big hakira amongst the professors, whether it's better to have a dumb terminal or it's better to have an IBM uh, machine. So they said, well, you could always, <laughs> those love this, you could always turn your IBM machine that you just paid $3,000 for into a dumb terminal. <laughs> So, and others said, no, it's, it's for the <laughs> it's, it's never going to be as dumb as you need it to be. It's always going to try to process something. There's no way in the design to get it past all of its own zich. <laughs> so you got to make really a decision here, they said at that time, whether you want to be part of the, you, you, say you could access the cloud now, but you can't be like the chefs of the cloud so soon. But but um, Mashiach site, you know Mashiach right. site. But the the, the the godless here of the Adam is to be the Eved Hashem, like Moshe Rabbeinu was. Thank you so for letting me go. Some way the ego definition can't be. Yitush Kadam. Can't be that too. But wasn't it also?